Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Casper's site, mate. How the devil are you? I hope you're bloody good. Today, we're looking into a little channel called Project Dark Knight Horror. It's a freaky deaky channel. It's a channel about the paranormal. The paranormal activity, okay? Make sure you go to Project Dark Knight Horror. Subscribe and do the thing. Paranormal videos that show 100% how to get a poltergeist. Warning, okay? It says warning at the end. That's what we bloody like, mate. Talk about warning. How about you come over to Twitch tonight at 8 o'clock BST. Okay? 8 o'clock, well, PM BST. All right, we're playing a horror game over there called The Quarry, mate. It's absolutely bloody brilliant. And loads of you came over on Saturday. So I'm playing it tonight, mate, and continuing on with it. All right, freaky deaky horror game on another level. Without further ado, da diddly day. Let's do this. Go on, Project Dark Knight Horror! Hello, my friends. Hello, mate. And welcome back to the channel. You're watching Project Dark Knight Horror. Good. And I am your host. Mr. Silla Black! Sorry, mate. What was your name? Horror. And I am your host, The Dark Knight. Okay. Today, the Dark Knight. We're focusing on ghosts, poltergeists, and demons. We're going to take a deep dive into the world of the paranormal. I'm back with your fix of horror. And today's Sweet medicine comes dream. in the form of a paranormal pill. Let's go. So stick the kettle on, make a cup of tea, and let me show you the truth. Without further ado, die daily day. Let's do this. It's that time again. So close the door, I shut love this the music. curtains, and turn off the lights and go full screen as you get ready to watch. I'm full screen, baby. Paranormal videos that show 100% how to get a poltergeist. Today's so if you want a poltergeist, mate, this is the video for you to watch, okay? <laughs> Stay tuned, let's go. program is dedicated to highlighting and explaining all the different ways people get haunted. Whether you was followed home from a cemetery or someone cursed you and sent an evil spirit into your home. <sighs> or you might have suffered a traumatic event and the anguish and depression invited dark forces into your life. You might have even played with the Ouija board and took part in the car rituals. Don't play with Ouija boards! Or the evil forces were always there, laying dormant in your home. Ooh. And it's only until you started renovating that you noticed things going bump in the night. <laughs> no, no, stop with the renovating shit, mate, okay? I'm in the middle of buying a house like I told you last time, all right? Stop with that. Whatever the reason, you're not alone. Project Dark Knight is here to educate you. So listen up. The class has begun. Let's go. <laughs> Chapter one. One man and his doppy. For our first case today, let me introduce you to Lloyd. Lloyd Christmas. He has a YouTube channel that goes by the name of Lloyd's House of Horrors. Mm. And believe it or not, but Lloyd's channel started as a cookery channel. But with a difference. You see, Lloyd is from Jamaica. Jamaica, so man! He's more laid back than your average chef. So like I said, his channel started with videos of cooking Jamaican food and talking about his heritage and... I can love Jamaican food, mate. Also his country. He had hopes and dreams that his channel would go viral and that would be his sole inspiration to make him money. But no matter how hard he tried, he was unsuccessful in getting the views. So, after some time, he gave up on cooking. Ah! The next few months- Oh, that's sad. His heart is set on cooking. He had to give up, mate. Don't give up, mate. Once that followed, Lloyd would produce and publish different kinds of videos on different kinds of topics, but his heart was always in cooking food. Ah! So, after a year of getting nowhere, Lloyd was feeling deflated and depressed. So, he joined a prayer group with a friend but this prayer group was not what Lloyd thought it was and ultimately he would go on to join a voodoo cult and because of an argument and my what the fuck hang on a second mate so this dude goes to like I don't know some sort of prayer place and it ends up being a voodoo oh fuck that mate motherfucker I'm gone are you sure we are you sure when, when we get to the prayers I don't know just make this fucking doll first mate okay money Lloyd would be cursed by the prayer group's leader, a voodoo practitioner. Oh shit! What follows is the true account of how Lloyd 
got cursed. To keep this interesting, I've broken the story down into segments and I've included his paranormal experiences in between. Holy shit, mate. Listen. This fucking arm starts breaking and shit and fucking folding in half. Lloyd, run! Yo, um, what's up, y'all? Um, I'm going to tell you guys about my first experience with voodoo. And one of my niggas is like, yo, come to church with me. So I'm like, yeah, I'm going to come to church with you. Like that, whatever. So I'm yeah. telling my parents, yo, you know, I'm waking up tomorrow. I'm going to church. So, yeah. so you know, I got my church clothes on and whatever. So Church clothes on? Oh, a suit and a boot? Let's go. I'm, I'm in church with him or whatever. And then all of a sudden, you know, the lights go off. And I hear people playing, playing the drums and shit like that. I hear people playing the drums. And they're playing like... Yeah. Here we go, yo. Uh. They're fucking lighting candles and all that, and they're like, and I, I'm like, yo, what the fuck is this? Like, what's going on? You know, I was scared. Hey! I, I was nervous. Yeah, what's going on, yo? It's young boy Lloyd. Imagine that, mate. Go to church. Just go to church, sweetheart. Okay. <laughs> fuck that. I'm here right now. I told you, I'm tired of, I'm tired of this fuck. Oh shit! Hang on. I need to move my. I need to move my shit, mate. Ghost in my fucking house. Shit, shake it. Shit, tired of uh, the shit in my house. I'm gonna burn some sage and all that and try to burn out the duffy in my house. Tonight. Maybe the fucking lightsaber will help, mate. Yeah, yeah. You feel me? I had some sage that I burned before. I had some. I don't know what this wood piece is too. So I'm gonna try to burn them out right now. Fuck that, yeah. <laughs> Burning you know, up right now. In this house, yeah? You know how sleepless and fucking nice I had in this fucking house? It's like clean up. Yes, here. I Watch the chair. Works. I got this at fucking. Are you fucking kidding me, mate? Are you kidding me, mate? Lloyd, run! Free market at fucking, um, Elon Market or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Whoa! What the fuck? Yo! What the fuck? Yo, what's going on? Holy shit. Fucking. No, man, mate, get a fucking hail bale of that shit, mate. Hay bale. Ain't even not, not a hail bale. A hay bale of that fucking stuff, sage, man. Yo, fucking burn it up. Burn it up in there, man. See, I hope I got this shit on camera, yo. Yo, fucking too right you well, did, I mate, in widescreen. Because nobody fucking believes me the shit that's going on, yo. Start the flapping fuck? it, mate. Nobody Flap it around. Me. Nobody believes me the shit that's going on. I hope I got this shit on camera, man. The fuck is going on in this house, man? The hell? Hold on, I gotta look at this. I gotta look at this and see for myself. The video you just watched was taken one year after being cursed by the leader of the group. What? Thing is, when the one thing I'm saying is, when you centralize yourself in the screen, why? Do you know what I mean? Like, why would you not put yourself in the center of the screen if you're recording yourself doing some sage shit? Okay, that's the only thing I'm thinking is a little bit dodgy. And what you didn't see was the anger and frustration and the sleepless nights that Lloyd went through and is still going through since being cursed. So, let's go back in time for the next part of the tale. Back in time. And I, and I, I'm like, yo, what the fuck is this? I'm like, what's going on? You know, I was scared, I was nervous. Hang on, I just like myself being on the right hand side, okay? I'm like, really, what's going on? You know what I'm saying? The eyes are rolling back in their head and shit like that, you hear me? And I was traumatized. I've never in my life ever seen anything like that. You know, I've been to church, church with my, I think my mother at the time was like, she just started going to church and shit like that. And I'm like, yo, what the fuck is this? How can I think this, yo? The man came me and said, oh, what is? <laughs> they gave me a white suit to put on and shit like that. So they sat me down on my knees. So I'm on my knees and they're around me praying and they're. Oh, mate, see, like, okay, hang on a second. It if I'm going down on my knees, okay, and everyone's circling around me, it would be right there. I'm, I'll be like, 
oh, how am I going to get out of this? Um, should I be doing this now? Is this what it's supposed to be like? Nah, mate. They're speaking in tongues and they're speaking African and all that. The man looked at me and said, my son, what I'm going to do to you, you never experienced before in your life. Right? Oh, right. Especially if I'm on my knees, mate. Motherfucker, I'm gone. I'm gone. And he poured some something in my mouth. And I swear to you, you're not even going to believe me. I swear to God, I was on my knees and I lift off off of the ground, about two feet off of the ground. Mate, you were tripping out. You, you had some sort of drug that was put in your mouth, mate. Surely to God. Yeah, man. What's up, y'all, yo? It's young boy Lloyd, yo. Um, I'm not going to make no fucking dopey run me out of my fucking house, yo. I'm sitting here right now, ready. I'm sitting in the chair right now. Anyone come behind me and move the chair thing, I stab up that in here, yo. <laughs> I stab up that knife up that in here right now. Boss, I'll do it. I'll tell you that right now. You can tell he's actually really quite nervous about this shit. So, I'm not going to sit here and let him do nothing to me. I'm going to defend myself. Right? But, um, thank you guys. You know, a couple of you guys reached out to me. Roxanne reached out to me. And she showed me couple people that, you know, I'm going to order some shit. I'm going to pick some shit up. You know what I'm saying? Say to try to run this fucking ghost out of my house. You feel me? Yeah, I feel you, mate. I'm, I'm not going to sit here and accept to make him take over or take over my, my house. Yeah, right. Two all we are going to worry yeah. Absolutely. You feel me? Yeah. So, so thanks for everybody to, uh, that um, helped me, that reached out to me. You know what I'm saying? But I'm at war with this ghost right now. I'm going to ask him, what the fuck does he want from me? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Wherever he goes, wherever you are, whatever, what the fuck do you want from me? Man? Don't acknowledge it, mate. Don't acknowledge it. Just come on my fucking life. Just allow me, man. You don't know how long, how much weeks and Watch months covers. I've been in here torturing over this fucking shit, yo. You feel me? And I'm, I'm not going to accept that. Yo. I'm not going to take that, yo. I'm not going to like no fucking pound because like, this ghost wants me to sit down in, in here and, I, 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 and just fucking this... Behind you, Lloyd. Lloyd, shut up. E Behind you. you. Behind you, Lloyd. Yeah. Again, <laughs> picking up the knife, mate. Yo, picking boy, Rambo in it. What are you gonna get slapped, mate? Leave up, leave up from this house, yeah. That's it. Fucking ah. flex, flex it. Leave up from here, man. Mate, he's gonna be up on the fucking ceiling in a minute. Fuck? Yeah! Yo, man, there's some time people, yo, I'm, this ain't no fucking joking, yo. You need to leave off from this house right now, yo. Right I'm now! Scared, yo. Don't worry, yo. You see, when I leave right now, I'm gonna go get some stairs and things, I'm gonna burn your tire, so. What? Stay in here, yo. Yeah. Yo, hold on, let me get my phone, let me go. Yo, you guys see this? Oh, fuck. You see the shit I'm done, so you know I'm not fucking around. You know there's not no fucking joke thing. You know there's not no idiot thing, some real deal thing that I'm dealing with inside here, man. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, I was on man. my knees and I lift off off of the ground about two feet off of the ground and I said to myself I'm like yo after seeing this there must be a god there must be some higher power or something like that here because I'm like yo what the fuck is this right I, I, you know I, I'm not gonna lie I, I continue going because I'm like yo this is this shit is like some real shit what I, mate I ain't gonna go back there again I ain't going back there again mate if that sort of shit happened that was English, by the way. So, I went back. Would you go back there again if you start floating around willy-nilly? I mean, like, I would love to be able to fly, but I have that shit, mate. And, you know, he did a little thing for me. He's like, yo, this is, I'm giving you power and protection right there. After that, you know, my money, I started making money like crazy after that. My money was ton up after that. I started making money. Police couldn't see me. My enemies couldn't see me. Nobody <laughs> enemies couldn't see me. What are you doing, man? Couldn't fuck with me. Not like that. I was fucking invincible. Here, the joke is though. Here's another part. Of, here's the second part of this now. So when I'm making money now, I get a call. I get a call out of nowhere. Private number, you know, like twelve o'clock in the night. My son, I see something wrong with you right now. You need to come see me right now. There's people after you. There's something after you. You need to come see me. 
bring two thousand dollar donation and come see me. What? Seen? What the fuck? Shit! Whoa! Oh, so this kid, this this dude's got a kid as well. Yo, you see what I'm talking about? Yeah. I just came out. I just left my house to so get a soda water, and this is the shit. This is the shit I'm seeing. True, he can't come in my house. True, this, this ghost. Can't. Sorry, my battery's on. So, um, this ghost can't come in my house. He's there following me out the road. Look at. It. Hold on. Hold on. I turn this camera He's around. following you down the road? What? Yo, what do you want, yo? Show yourself. What do you want from me? Huh? Huh? The what? fuck? Is that the shadow? Oh, oh shit, that's a shadow? Is that a shadow you bastard? You need to come see me right now. There's people after you. There's something after you. You need to come see me. Bring $2,000 donation and come see me. So, long story short, whatever money I'm making, he he's sucking it the fuck out. Because whatever money I'm making or whatever like that, I, he wants me to give him donations. So I'm giving him beer money, boom, boom, and I make the money, boom, I'm giving it to him. Mate, this is absolutely, uh, uh, like, crazy. Because he's calling me at random hours in the night, all, all, all different times, saying, I need to stay there. I sleep there all two nights, sleep at the church all two nights or whatever like that. I'm buying food for them. Um, I'm doing whatever. So I can't even get to enjoy my money now. So I'm like, yo, what the fuck, man? You know what I'm saying? And then... Well, just don't fucking go around there, mate. Keep your money and say, tell him to fuck off. Hey, get a job. You know, I just got enough of it. I just got fed up eventually. I'm like, yo, fuck all this shit. Yeah. Man. I'm like, yo, I'm going to hide from this man. So I started, I started hiding from him. Uh -huh. And, you know, I blocked his number. Good. I'm driving. I see him. I drive my team. He's like, my son, you need to come see me right now. Fucking There's hell. A problem with you. So I'm like, yo, you know, all, all this shit, dog, like, I'm thinking like, yo, fuck this, man. Not, after a while now, you know, I was kind of nervous because I'm like, yo, this man's like a powerful man, you know what I'm saying? But after a while, I'm just like, yo, pussy, go suck your mother, yo. Like, yo, fuck this. <laughs> suck your mother? I think that was. Yeah, fuck that, man. He called me, I'm like, yo, pussy, suck my blood cloud phone. Hang the phone on him and whatever and say, fuck that, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh, shit, he's got two kids. Let me get this straight. You pay this woman to sit on babies? That's disgusting. Is that boss baby? I do it for nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Now. Oh, oh, shit! No! You gotta come here. What? What is that? The hell? Yo, come back. Come, 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 come. Fucking Lloyd dressed up as fucking Christmas. Here, look, Christmas Day. Fucking Santa, Lloyd Christmas. Hey, like you can park your bike here now. Look, look, park, someone park your bike. No, no, this is serious, guys. Come. Oh, oh. oh! Yo, what's going on? Come, come. I think that girl was laughing there, right? She was laughing. Yo, we gotta get out of here, man. No, seriously. <laughs> so far, you know that Lloyd joined a cult and took part in a ritual to bring him wealth and protection and good luck. But, as you was just informed, as Lloyd was making the money, the leader of the cult would ask for donations, and because he was a powerful man, and Lloyd was young and scared, he would give him the money. And he was even asked to sleep in the church so the leader could keep tabs on him. How can, how, how, how is he sleeping in the church when he's got two kids? Unless he just has them for the weekend or something or what? But this wouldn't keep going on. Lloyd would eventually snap. And because of an argument, the leader would ultimately curse Lloyd. So shortly after this, Lloyd's viewers told him quite rightly to stop acknowledging Ooh. the entity and to ignore. There you go, that's what I said. Listen to Uncle Ben. For it. So he completely stopped everything and eventually things started to get better. There you go. It didn't stop completely, but it did die down a lot. Lloyd emailed me a couple of times, which is how I got the updates. But then he did something two months ago, 
which was so stupid, foolish, reckless. He got a fucking Ouija ball out, guaranteed. Let's go. And irresponsible. Remember when Lloyd was making content about cooking? He would hardly get any views, but he was happy. But then, when he started to share his paranormal experiences with the world, his views started to rocket. <laughs> Compared to his meager few hundred views, his paranormal content garnered thousands. And now, the content had dried up. So, he had nothing to show. Ah. Oh. So, like I said, either out of greed, stupidness and irresponsibility, Lloyd did this. Oh, fucking Ouija board. Here Watch. we go. A seance or a Ouija board or something. Well, absolutely to not curse anymore, so I won't curse. But I'm in the graveyard and I'm asking for any demons or any ghosts who ever to follow me. Follow me home, follow me wherever you can follow me. Because I'm not scared of you. Mate, this is a desperate man. This is a desperate man wanting, like, desperate money right here now. He wants maximum views, maximum money, desperate. Look at him. Asking any fucking demons. Oh, mate, no way. Lloyd, what are you doing, man? Do, do you realize, like, if that, if what's going on is real, right, and he knows it's real, and he feels that it's real, does he really understand what he's putting himself in into, like, you know? Clearly Follow not. Me. I ask for you. Oh this God, I bet is it the last video that Lloyd uploaded as of today. What? And as you just saw and heard, he unbelievably asked a demon or spirit to follow him home. And that's the last fucking video, mate. I'll be keeping a lookout for any videos that Lloyd uploads in the next few weeks and months. Uh, that was a couple of months ago. Like, what the shit? Oh, no. I have a strange feeling that his next upload will be about strange activity going on in his home and that will mean that it worked be careful for what you wish for my friends because oh shit next video mate we're gonna see him climbing up the walls going out ah, ah, oh shit in hell mate you might just get it so let's take note the first case he got paranormal activity in his home because he was cursed oh shit <laughs>